înainte de ultima, ultima discuție de, de panel de astăzi, vreau să invit pe scenă pe Indre Sfistrite. Hello! It's very good to have you here. Uh, we are here. I, I know that we had a, a very short discussion yesterday regarding the, the theme and, and the subject itself, that it was about flying, but, but it, it's not directly about flying, but it's going to be about new ideas and startups and... Or I, I think I'll, I'll let you tell, tell us more. Actually, I'm a little bit confused what will be my presentation about. Doru, first of all, thank you for inviting me here. And I was repeating many times in these days that nothing happened by accident. And I really trust that those people who are in the room, you are not by accident here. And I hope not because I was asking yesterday to come here and stay. I'm not sending the picture to my husband that there are still people in the room. My name is Indre, and I am from Vilnius, Lithuanian. And with some of you, I was speaking and telling that I am from Iceland. And the reason I am from Iceland, I work with GPI, and I'm really happy for that. But at um, the same time, I'm a granddaughter. I'm a daughter for my father and my mother. I am happy wife, and I'm a mother for my five-year-old son. And if nobody would see you today, if I am not watching you, think one second who you are. And if it would be the last day for you to decide, what do you want to do in your life? What would it be? I'm not sure it's my presentation. Yes, it is. Yes. These are my best friends for today. And one day, they were like almost teenagers, being some of them 18, some of them 17, And they came into my room, some of them even being far away from Vilnius, just in front of the computer, having an interview with me, with one idea. They decided that they want to be pilots. Is there any pilot in the room? Good. Is somebody flying back home tonight? Everybody left. Good. You will fly with me. It, somebody's in the room who will fly home. I see somebody is joining us. Good. What are the airlines who will fly back home? Okay. Still, there's no many choices to come back if you are here. You will have to fly. Short story about these guys coming back. The guy with the black hair, Hurshet, he's from Tajikistan, and he is one of the best pilots in Samonir. But trust me, it was not easy to get a license in two years when you failed the last exam in Civil Aviation Authority. Your father is almost to death because of the heart attack, and you don't want to make a trouble for anybody because it was your fail. What you do, you come to my room and you ask, can I get the last chance? Today, I am the most proud of himself because coming back after not two but three years, I hope that he can change the aviation world in the country. Marcus, the guy in the mid, Uh, being a hockey player, being the son of five kids in the family, he collected the money, almost 60,000 euro, just painting the houses. 
because he knew that he has no other job list, just to be a pilot. Today he is a first officer, close to being a captain in the city jet. Somebody maybe is flying, Jan. You are in the Scandinavia. I think you fly a lot with them. Relax. He is one of the best. Pran, the guy with the lady, he started getting a license being 17, and he could fly the simulator, all the emergency procedures, being 17 years, because he was really, really in love with that, flying the Microsoft one. He is now 23, and he's a captain. And these are my lucky stories. If you would ask me, do I have the other ones? I would tell no. Because I would say that those who didn't start and were not accepted, I hope they are happy too. And if one of you will have son or daughter who would like to become a pilot, please give me the, my contacts. And no matter what, I will speak for free. But this is not the main topic I want to speak today. One day, many years ago, you will say, okay, you are not old to say many years. I was sitting in your place and I was having an idea that it's not easy to change the things when you are in company, when you work in HR. Before joining aviation, I was working with assessments, I was working in HR field, and one day I get a call. Would you like to join us and start up a new flying academy? It was 2010, economical crisis. It was just an idea. And I said, what? Are you crazy? And my friend told to me, are you experienced in aviation? No. Do you know anything about? No. Are they, are they paying you a salary? I said, yes. Let's take it as a training and they will pay you. Now, I got a question during the lunch. Would you like to change the field? Why you concentrate on finding the right people in aviation? Maybe you can do the, something in the general business? I said, no, this is a drug. I cannot do anything else now. So many times I think that there are so many changes and we had many presentations about that time is flying. We have so many things in terms of technology and yes, she is my grandma and yes, it's me many years ago. And if we speak about changes in terms of human resources in aviation, there are not many to be honest. If we speak about airports, the first function of the airports was, could you tell me? Parking, fueling, taxing. What is the main function now? I hope most of you will have one stand up in the airport. We need to change the aircraft. Why? to spend as much money in the duty-free. When I calculate how much my ticket costs, I always think, okay, depends what will be my medium stop. If it's a nice duty-free, if I will buy some bag or some presents, the ticket could cost much more. If we speak about Emirates, the main business for the holding is the duty-free. Cabin crew. You remember the times? Maybe not, sorry, you are too young. The first cabin crew ladies were the nurses because it was an idea that something could happen during the flight. Yes, it's a long time, you are not able to call the doctor. Somebody should help you. Then, okay, some things are changed. And the next stage for the cabin crew, whether really beautiful ladies. What is the main function for today for the cabin crew? Sorry? Selling as much as possible. 
Even if they are not selling, they do it. They sell the company, they sell the image of it, and of course, if you want, even in the best, I would say best prestige flights, you can get something for free, but for a good whiskey, you are still paying. Aircrafts. Some time ago, and it's not a long one, 100 years ago, having more than five passengers at the same time, it looked like almost not possible. Now, if the airline is not collecting, 95, 85% of the passengers were not able to fly. And we are three of us today, all of us from aviation, and these are not the best days. We read in the newspapers that one airline is just closed, Premier Air. We have many friends flying there. We just get a, get a message that Small Planet Airlines, they close two bases. Many, many pilots will lose a job. Even if we think that it's an up for the aviation, up for the industry, it seems that we did some mistakes at the really close past. And one of the reasons, it's not a... It's not a um, the secret is we have no enough people to fly. Why do I speak about my grandma and the times when she was young? The main regulations regarding aviation were created after Second World War. It's like just 50 years, 60 years ago. They decided to think about how we will share the sky what will be the rules for those guys who are flying, and to be sorry, they are the same till now. Does it mean that everybody could be a pilot? If you fly yourself, or if you fly with your families in the aircraft with a business jet, what would be requirements from your side for the pilot? Yeah? Seat belt. <laughs> to have as many hours as possible. Experience. Okay. What else? Safety. Safety. How you could decide that the pilot is safe? He was not driving too fast to the airport, like Doro do. <laughs> what else? Any requirements? You are all the family in one, in one aircraft. Healthy and emotional balance. Okay, he was not shouting on his colleague before entering the job. Demand is huge for the future. We see it's already now. We need a lot of pilots for the future. And it's not my goal to make you think that maybe change the industry, go to become a pilot. No, it's about to think that we have to be serious in finding the new potential people and solving the problems that we have now. Changes in the market, even 10 or 20 years ago, were not about the HR. They are pretty much about the market situation. What we do when we need a lot of pilots and there are no? We take those who are available. If I call now the HR for the airline and I say, can we meet and speak about how you do the selection of the pilots? They say, excuse me, can you, can you send me a few CVs of the captains? No, sorry. If there are down for the aviation, and it's not a secret, it's these ups and downs are quite more often than we feel in the general industry. If there are many unemployed pilots, Nice news, we can choose the most experienced ones. And the time to choose the right ones never comes. Of course, there are many airlines who have another approach. But the main regulator in European Union still has just few requirements for the future pilots. If you are 18 years old, I think only two kids. I saw a few kids in the Doro. It's your son and Doro in the room still? 
Okay, they left because they are not able to become a pilot now. If you are healthy, it means just two days medical check. Of course, this is a real check with a test, blood, don't drink wine before you go to the medical commission, don't uh, have too much parties, not a blood pressure, no heart problems, but generally, if you are healthy and if you are adult, you can be a pilot. Isn't it strange? Pretty? Um, to be honest, this is Maria, one of my favorite students. And she entered the school just to try if she can fly. And she decided to become a private pilot, just for the leisure. And she was really good in theory. Then she goes to the airfield, take the aircraft, and the instructor is calling me, who is she? I said, she's Maria, private pilot. She's better than any guy in my group this year. Two years, and she is flying with air. If you will see her through the window, relax. She's really good. If we speak about the cabin crew, even being a flight attendant, there is one more requirement. Do you know what this special thing for a cabin crew? You should be able to swim, in case. Rules and regulations are written by the blood in aviation. Do you remember German wings accident? Actually, I was giving the same, pretty much the same presentation at 2012, at 2014, in the biggest aviation symposiums, and usually in front of me were people flying, and they said, this is a nice topic, you know. Yes, it's really important to assess the pilots, but it's difficult to regulate. And now, after the German wing accident, finally people sit in one room and they decide that it's not enough to be healthy and adult. Airlines should perform the psychometric assessment. They promised to regulate till 2016. It's 2019, but still people start speaking about that. Just me having a relation with assessments in HR before I said, this is the time. It's not my academy and it's not myself that we do the assessment and we speak with the airlines. Everybody have to do in the future. Let's do it together. I called Doro and I said, okay, let's do something for that. I called Jans and I said, let's create something wonderful that people could take and use it. Even when we regulate something, and, and I think you have many examples when we get the rules from the law, from the labor authorities, and they say, do it, but how? Let's go back to the situation that we have now. This is a colorful map about where the assessments are used and applied in the market. Osama, please check the map. I think you will fly back home. <laughs> the points are really related with the colors, and I would say, without long explanation, what is the relation with these small points? If we have European big airlines, and they have academies flying somewhere out of the Europe, so this is usually the reason that we can find an assessment somewhere out. But mainly there are some regions that they say that we cannot assess pilots because it's too sensitive. Who can decide? So who is the really good future aviator? Of course, the Inuali, she is sitting in the front. Laura. We took some time, we discussed, and we start working on this field. We find the really experts in the market and we ask what exactly you do in your job. Then we create the assessment tool and of course it's not easy to convince them please be the one and fill the questionnaire, take a test and be the example for the future. Even my best friends, pilots, they say, who will see my results? Are you sure? 
are you sure that nobody? I said, come on, you are flying 25 years. You are the instructor, you are the captain, you are the best. Why don't you want to make a test and show who you are? And then last question is, are these guys who fill the questionnaire, are they good performance in the market or are they are just a good friends of mine? So I will share a little bit the details how we did it. The time of technologies helps us a lot. It's not easy to find five, ten pilots, experienced ones, at the same time. But it works. We just use a Skype video, we have Doru in another site, we promise some good, some good things for them, some beer and wine afterwards when we will meet, and we speak. Cabin crews, pilots, pilots from general aviation, pilots from business aviation, and we analyze behaviors. Then we rank the behaviors that we find out, and we are almost ready to have the initial GPI test. So after the analysis, we get the list of competencies that we will use for the future. You see we have a list of behavior traits, cognitive skills, and occupational interests. Who is familiar with the box? Can you raise the hand who had worked with this box? You have a huge potential for the future. <laughs> and the same we did with the cabin crew. Um, sorry, it was the cabin crew and now we have a list for the pilots. Is it something that you would like to add when we speak about the competences for the pilots? Stability? Stress and resilience, discipline, cooperation. There are many HR experts in the room. Would you add anything else? I know that it's not easy to start thinking again after two days and party, nice wine. I will try to be fast. <laughs> I think the main thing is missing. Consciousness. Maybe. I would say there's no motivation in the list. I had seen hundreds of guys who are really able to, but they have no wish. They come to the room, they fill the test, they are perfect. Mother and father are supporting, they decided, they discuss. And then I see that something is not about the real life. And I just ask, could you, mother and father, just go for a coffee? And I speak with them. Do you think that somebody could fly 10, 20 years and be efficient if it's not their dream? Some of them, they come and they speak about Romantics. Why do you want to be a pilot? And they say, ah, you know, you can travel the world. I say, yes, sure. You fly one way, three hours. You just change the passengers. Usually you have to use the toilet in the aircraft because you have 30 minutes to change and you fly back. Is it about traveling? No, okay, if you are experienced, then the next step will be you can change some airline. You can fly long distance, but not in the, future, in the beginning. So what is the passion about? Actually, it's about flying itself for the most of them. But the first day I just raised the question for the generations. And the reality is that some of them have no passion about machines and operation and they will be really good pilots just because it's a good money. Is it a problem? If somebody is coming to the room and they say, you know, this is a really well-paid job and we see that they really fit with a uh, personality, they are really good filling all the aptitude tests, we see they are able and they say it's a nice plan for me because in 10 years flying I will have quite enough of funds and I will buy an apartment and I will be a real estate agent. What you would do in my place?
It depends. I give the same question for experienced pilots, and they say, no way. Why? Those who have no real motivation about aircrafts flying and machines, they are not good. Why? Yes? Sure? It's the same. Okay. To be honest, when you go to the industry like that, we have the same thing. We are different. Just the difference at the beginning in these days is that you invest almost 100,000 euros for the training. And in most of the cases, this money are not the student money. Parents pay, funds pay. My personal goal and job every time when somebody is investing this money is to be sure that the German wing or other accident is not caused because of somebody is really pushed to work and do the job because to pay cash back. And then we speak about the personal responsibility making decisions. This is always about business. I was running the flight training academy for seven years, and it was really successful. We were buying a new aircraft every year, getting more and more students, every year 100% on top. But what is the responsibility behind of us? And it's not about aviation. We have plenty of things, uh, of positions that people are feeling quite big investments at the very beginning. Getting back to the pilot assessment, yes, you are right, the competencies are pretty much familiar, but the thing is, we need to find out, is this a big difference between the countries? Is this the difference between the airlines? That's why for the research, we had as much different pilots from different airlines. The same with the cabin crew, and the outcome out of it is, Totally, we used for the final analysis 34 pilot results from 11 different airlines and 39 cabin crew results. And it was selected by the Doro team. He could comment a little bit more. It was based on the data we get, but in generally we checked uh, almost uh, 180 cabin crew and almost 100 pilots and with the pilots, we still continue. And the overall match, we see that correlation for the cabin crew is pretty good. Doro would say it's perfect. So the outcome of this research was not surprising for me. The results of this research shows that we can use the assessment tools that are used for the general industry in the aviation as well. It's nothing different, just different approach if we always speak about the hard skill training. And it costs a lot, we speak about the simulators, we, sp we speak about the shortage, we speak about the things that we cannot change. And usually we never speak about what is the main reason that we have good or not that good uh, pilots. When I meet the airline industry representatives and I ask who are the troublemakers, they never speak about the flying. They say they are complaining too much. If I speak with the planning department and I ask who are the troublemakers, yes, I know one. I never want to call him when I change the schedule. Is it about flying? No. So with the, with the pilot results, we see that we still need to continue the research. Um, the overall match correlation is a little bit lower. And we will come back to the list of competencies. And Natalia, you told that you would add some competencies. And we already collected more competencies to the list. And we will keep doing. 
if you know any airline representatives, if you know any pilots, please come to me and help me. We want to involve as much pilots, as much cabin crew, and as much decision-making people in this process in order to have a really good tool for the future. Do you think we have more industry, or I would say positions that we say, it's not easy to assess? My son is five years old, and I'm really stressed to think about the school. It's not about training itself. I was so careful with choosing, choosing the kiddie guarding. I really choose the right food, the right clothes. And then when I go to school, I'm not able to choose the right teacher. Of course, you have some options. Is it about the knowledge they know? We usually say, this is the teacher from the heart. What does it mean? Could you tell something, what is the teacher from the heart? My favorite, yes? They put passion, love, and support uh, children, not to uh, tell them what to do, to support them to explore the world. Could we do something from the very beginning for those young people who apply for the universities to be a teachers? To be honest, this is the most uh, sensitive topic for me the last two weeks. If we see in the growing economy countries who is applying for the universities who teach teachers, I don't know how it's in your country. Usually, if you cannot be a lawyer, if you cannot get a free of charge position in economics, you try to be a teacher. Not all the cases, but many. And by accident, those people, some of them, they become a teachers. And they learn how to do, they have programs, they have books. And then we say, why our kids don't want to go to school? What about doctors? All of you have a good doctor. Somebody recommended. He is really doctor from the heart, from, like we say, doctor from the God. Is it about really what they know? No. Who they are. I think we can apply the same methods for all positions if we want, if we really think that we can make a difference. When I said that yesterday that I want to tell my story, so the conclusion of my story is I was complaining many years. And then I stand up and I think what I can do myself. And at, at least what I can do, speaking with every airline, with few of the academies, with parents and students, is just to reduce the number of people who shouldn't be a pilot and maybe could be the best lawyers. The same about you. Every time saying no for somebody, we open the doors. And every time leaving something that we really invested a lot, we can find another opportunity. The doors are closed, and others are open. And if there is somebody in the room that thinks that you cannot do anything, and everything in two days was like, yes, it's nice, but not for my company, ask yourself, maybe you can do something else? I think there are many people, fathers, husbands, mothers, daughters, you can start doing great things at home, educating kids, loving each other, sharing experience, we can do the difference. Thank you. Thank you, Indra. Please sit.